Okay. Now it knows it wants to be deleted. So it assumes that's deleted space now. So it wants its next command. To set up Windows XP, press Enter. To create a partition, press C. Now what this means is if you want your hard drive broken into different drives, like if you want one that says C, then one that says uh, D, J, K, whatever you want it to say. If, uh, literally, there's no need for it, but if you want it to basically, it's like putting another hard drive inside the hard drive. Basically, now you're making um, file cabinets, and each one will have its own stuff you want to put in it. But, you know, there's really no need. Just put it on one. I mean, this is so easy to do. If you get a bunch of stuff you don't want on it, delete it again. So to delete the selected partition, we're going to hit D. But like I said, if you want to make another drive, so you have more than one shown, a C drive, a J drive, a, a Z drive, whatever you want to name it, you can do that. But for this lesson, we're going to just delete it. So hit D to delete the selected partition, press D. This is a full walkthrough, so... Okay. Now, press enter. Okay. Now, it asks me, do I want to format using th the same system? We can do it quick, or we can do it longer. So, we're going to do it the long version, just because we're going to do it all the way through and show every step to you. Format the partition using hit enter. Now here's the screen. Please wait while well, setup formats the partition. New, which is a raw drive of all my megabytes, which every thousand megabytes is one gigabyte, just so you know. Now setup is formatting. So when it's all done, I'll come back and show you the next step. Okay, we're just about done formatting, and then the installation is going to begin. After the format, now Windows will copy files into the installation folders. So when this is done, I'll come back. Now after that, it starts the collecting information, dynamic update, installing Windows. Takes about 40 minutes. Takes less, but so when this is all installed pretty much we haven't touched any other keys it's all been doing it by itself so those hundreds of dollars the, sorry those hundreds of dollars that you spend on paying people to do this uh, it's a joke you know they're just laughing at you so I'll keep walking you through it but this is a simple way again to uh, wipe your hard drive and start new Okay, then when it says you have about 33 minutes left, it's going to bring up the regional and language options. <clears throat> Simple enough. Go to next. Can't customize till you enter your name. Alright. So, enter a name. And we'll go to next. You don't have to put in an organization, but it'll create a computer name. Uh, if you want it to be a different name, that's fine too. You can put in your password, or if you leave it blank, there won't be one. The date, September 2nd, the time, yes, it is 4.55 in the morning. It is central time. We want it to adjust for daylight savings time. And then we click next. Oh, it's going to install the network and everything else we need. Okay. I'll be back when it's ready to install. Started itself, so at this point you can actually remove your CD. It's all in there. Now it's going to be starting up for the first time. It tells you that it's going to improve the elements and the screen resolution from what it sees that your laptop or computer are totally normal so again there's 
since we formatted and installed it, we haven't done anything but sit back and watch. There's now we go through the main setup. Click next. You can turn on updates. That's you're gonna end up doing it anyways. Some people don't, but it's always good to have an updated computer. Put in your name and up to five other people. Or whoever you're fixing the computer for. And that's it. Now it's just a question of updating. I'll walk you through that too. Okay, so as you can see it works. Totally fine. Now you simply go do your updates. If you can't use your wireless, well here's a simple solution. Connect your Ethernet cable to the back of your computer. Update all your programs, items, and you're all set to go. Simple job. We just, uh, your computer's ready to go. Put in your programs, um, and that's it. Any other questions, feel free to post them. I'll be happy to make a how-to. Alright, take care.